The Fort Thomas Apaches hosted the opener 1A state playoff game against Hayden on Friday, and the Lobos were looking to avenge their loss two weeks ago to the Apaches in the regular season. Hayden's Frankie Valencia peeled off this 28-yard run to open up the Lobos' rushing attack that would punish the Apaches all game. Valencia then finished off the opening drive by diving into the end zone from half a yard out. The two-point conversion was good and Hayden led early 8 to nothing. The Apaches came out throwing early, but Omar Lopez broke up this pass from Evan Stringfellow with a nice play on the receiver. Undaunted, Stringfellow dropped back to pass and found a wide open Tagipo Fiame without a Lobo in sight, and he could go all the way for a 41-yard touchdown. The ensuing two-point conversion was good, and the game was tied at eight apiece. The Lobos came right back to Valencia, however, who bobbles the ball, doink, 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 and makes the circus catch good for a first down. But on fourth down and goal from the five, the Apaches' defense held, and the Lobos turned the ball over. Stringfellow then dances in the pocket. He's going to throw. No, he's going to run. No, he finds Javen Elgo on a deep route for 53 yards, and the Apaches are knocking on the red zone. Stringfellow keeps it himself on the following play, and he could go almost all the way as he gets knocked out at the seven. On fourth and goal from the five, however, Stringfellow's pass is broken up in the back of the end zone, and Fort Thomas turns the ball over on downs at the start of the second quarter. The Apache's next drive was cut short when Lopez intercepts the Stringfellow offering. The close official said Lopez brought the ball in for the catch, while the far official said he believed the ball hit the ground. After a short discussion, the crew went with the referee who was closest to the play and gave the ball to the Lobos. The Apaches' defense forced a three and out, but the returner muffed the punt and the Lobos recover to keep their drive alive at midfield. After a sack, Mario Mariscal throws a deep pass to Adrian Estrada, but Iverson Nelson and Kendall Stanley convened to dislodge the ball and the Lobos ended up turning the ball over on downs. The Apaches gave it right back, however, as Robert Bourne steps in front of this Stringfellow's pass for the INT and the Apaches' fourth straight turnover in the quarter. Valencia then took it in for a two-yard TD, and the ensuing two-point conversion gave the Lobos a 16-8 lead. Lopez then intercepted Stringfellow's Hail Mary to end the half. Every single Apache possession in the second quarter ended with a turnover, including once on downs, three interceptions, and a fumble. After Fort Thomas turned the ball over on downs on its opening drive of the third quarter, Hayden marched down the field behind its big back Valencia, who then scored on this five-yard sweep around the left side. The two-point conversion was good, and the Lobos were up 24-8. Following an Apache punt, Lopez gets the call and busts through the line and brushes off two would-be tacklers on his way all the way for a 20-yard TD but the play was called back for holding and the score was wiped off. With the Lobos pushed back, Metcalf burst through the line to disrupt the play. He got a little too animated after the refs blew the whistle, however, and was flagged for driving Jorge Rodriguez into the turf. Valencia then stumbled and bumbled his way for his fourth trip into the end zone on the night, and the Lobos were comfortably up 30-8 to early in the fourth. There was no give up in the Apaches, however, and after this Stringfellow run, Metcalf went around the right side for the score, and Fort Thomas was down only 30-14. to The Apaches threatened to score again later on in the fourth, but Stringfellow can't corral the errant snap, and the Lobos take over. The Apache defense held, however, and forced the Lobos to punt, and Stanley takes this offering 35 yards down to the Lobos' 20. Fiami then refuses to go down and takes it in from two yards out to lower the score to 30-20. to But the Apaches ran out of time and the Lobos left the field victorious. Well, the key is, you know, we were well prepared. You know, they, they beat us a couple of weeks ago and, uh, you know, we made some adjustments from last game and uh, I knew they were going to bring it. They're a tough team. Take my hat off to them. They did a heck of a job. We had a game plan, we stuck to it, and, you know, came out victorious. Mogian, is that how you say it? Mogian? Mogian, Heber. Mogian, next Number week. one in the state. I mean, you know, what can you say? You, you got to beat the best to be the best, so that's going to be our motto this week. We're going to work hard, prepare, and see what happens.
Seven turnovers. Yeah. Part of the story of the game. You know, and we coming into the game, we had we, we had four fumbles, three picks, so we had seven total coming into the game. So it was just one of those nights where just stuff didn't bounce our way. Um, we hadn't turned over all year, but credit to Hayden. They made plays and they, they made the turnovers, the ball bounced their way, and, and they had a good win. So. What do you want to say to your team after the season that they've had this year? You know, the, going from two to from two and six to six and two, and the, our senior leadership that we had, and then at this game, uh, we're down 30 to eight in the fourth quarter, and there was no no quit, and they just kept fighting and actually gave us a shot at the end. We got back into it, and I'm real proud of that. So. Uh, I'm just proud of them all. We we just we got down, but we never gave up. We fought the whole game. It was just you know. I couldn't be prouder of the team. We all played an excellent game. We never gave up, and I'm just, I'm really proud of how we played. It was just, it was a great night, good night in football. You know, next year, they're going to come back and do a lot better, so just, just love the game. Reporting from Fort Thomas for Gila Valley Central, I'm John Johnson.